If I could choose the worst possible spot to set up the gateway tarp, it would be here. I think there's a lot of rocks underneath, but I don't really remember because I don't normally come here. Uh, and there's snow, and it's like this flaky snow, so I can't actually put the stakes in the snow either. So, let's hope for the best. Now, the gateway cape, of course, is uh, supposed to be a rain clothe and I this is not going to be a review, by the way. This is a demonstration. This is me using it for the first time. So I will go ahead and... I should have probably tested it out at home first to kind of give it an honest look. Uh, what the hell, I was actually more interested in the tent aspect than the, uh, the poncho aspect. So, do all that other fun stuff that's actually... Hear a lot of great things about it. Okay, moral of the story. Find a good camp spot to put up your tent. First impression, it's not that bad actually. I was expecting much smaller, but this is uh, definitely doable for one man. Uh, I've got my two meter long sleeping pad in here. I'll go ahead and lay down just to get a feel for it. <clears throat> I mean, this is just kind of the demonstration in the worst possible conditions, but to be honest, I, I could see myself using this on um, forest trips, dry trips, uh, this kind of thing, where I don't need a whole lot of space, but I still want some comfort. And, uh, and this is a really light solution, weighs 340 grams. And that's for a, a poncho and a tent. And it is a full covered tent. Uh, with that said, uh, ponchos, I mean, I wouldn't use this up in the mountains, definitely not. But at this level, uh, below tree line, why not? But it's a lot bigger than I thought. So hopefully I'll, this won't be the final video. <laughs> Hopefully I'll actually do a real setup and real takedown and then this will just be kind of like the B-roll for that. But I don't know, I, I'm pretty lazy sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear down the gateway cape uh, so we can get some good video of me tearing it down, see how it looks, how small it is and so on. Uh, or maybe I should actually show the inside. Here's the inside kind of a pyramid tent. It's uh, almost the same size. It's carry it it has its carry pouch built in that even becomes kind of a camp pocket that you can put your cell phone and these kind of things in. So this is a self-contained unit completely. And here you have the inside, which at first I thought it was kind of a pain in the ass to be honest with you, but looking at it, it was pretty smart. And this just gives you some adjustments ability. You can take these off so that you have it as the poncho. And it makes a pretty decent tent. Uh, and paired with the Serenity net, why not? I like these kind of details. You've probably seen that in some of my other videos as I usually just gush over 
the little extra, you know, because anybody can just make a simple little tarp and say, hey, here you go, take our money. Uh, you know, give me your money. But it's these little details that kind of separate you from the rest. That. 340 grams, and you got yourself a poncho, a rain poncho, that'll cover your backpack, and a full coverage shelter, which I really wouldn't see the need for anything else on most summer forest trails. This was pretty awesome. Lightweight. Easy to set up, big enough for me, and I'm, you know, 6'3". Yeah, 